Hi, I'm Tara. In this tutorial, we're going to look at the magic write function in Canva and how we can use it to bulk create for Instagram posts. So let's get going. So the first thing we need to do is open Canva. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to generate this bulk creation. I'm going to have an imaginary sports store and we're going to do a flash sale for seven days. So I want to write the slogans for that. So in order to do that, we need to go to Docs and in Docs, we're going to click on Start Writing. So when your doc opens, you'll notice that there's a little plus sign here. And when you click on that plus sign, it will bring you to Magic Write. So as I say, you know it's part of the Pro because it has a little crown beside it. So when we click on Magic Write, it says use five more words to describe what you want to write. So we want it to generate seven titles for um, because we want to put them on Instagram for each day to say that we're having a flash sale and a different different kind of Instagram post each day because you obviously you don't want them to be all the same. So you key in your post, your prompt, sorry, seven titles for Instagram bulk creation for a sports store flash sale. And when you click on generate, it just like that comes up with, I, I can't get over the speed of it. I think it's <laughs> incredible. But anyway, so score big savings at our sports store flash sale. Gear up for great deals at our spa, sports store flash sale. Um, so they all have flash sale in them. Um, you, can, you can select and get them to rewrite it, which usually doesn't change a huge amount of it. Yeah, so visit our sports store flash sale for unbeatable discounts as opposed to swing by. Um, so it's only changed visit and swing. But it's still it's still pretty good. I think, you know, I think amazing. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to bring these back into an Instagram post and we're going to generate a bulk creation. And then I'm going to show you how to schedule it to post onto your Instagram account. So we're going to leave this one open just for the moment and we're going to go back to our home page. And this time we're going to go to social media. And we're going to we're going to let Canva do the work for us. So up here in the search, we're going to search in templates and we're going to look for a sports store Instagram and it will go and get um, a load of uh, templates, themed templates that will go with our sports store flash sale. So as you can see, there's absolutely like endless amounts of them. It sometimes tells you how many there are. Yeah, 750,350 <laughs> templates. So you're never going to be short of, of a template. I quite like this one here. I like the kind of, I like the colours in it, but um, I like the kind of mood of it. And I know that I can change the images um, to suit whatever it is that, that we're going to put in. So when you click on it, it says customize this template. So you can go in and you can, um, you can change all the colours, you can change the font, you can change the text, but you have a kind of basic idea to work with. So we click on customize this template. And then it will open in in Canva for you. So you just need to have a look at kind of the makeup of it. So you can see that this is two text boxes. So we only have one text box because each slogan is only one line. So um, so we're just going to remove one of them. I'm going to move this up slightly and I'm going to change the size of it down to about. Let me just do this other turret about 90. And then this, um, you want obviously, you want your website or you want your the name of your store or you know whatever whatever logo or website details you want that to be on every page. So I would leave I would leave that in. Maybe move it to the side. Um, it depends on the size and shape of your logo. You can also, as I say, change the color of the font or the actual font itself. Um, maybe you have <clears throat> a font that you use all the time within your um, branding. You can you can change it to whatever whatever font you like. Um, but now I'm going to show you how to generate the bulk creation for the seven days. So we go over to the left hand side and we click on apps. And to, in more from Canva, there's a, there's a lot of little icons and you're looking for one that's called bulk creation minus the third one across. But that's not necessarily where yours might be. So bulk creation is what it's called. So this is what um, appears when you when you click on it. 
and you have enter data manually or upload CSV. So a CSV file is a like an Excel or a Google Sheets file. So this time we're going to do um, enter data manually. Um, in another video, I'm going to show you um, using ChatGPT. Um, I'm going to use the upload CSV, but for this for this one, we're going to use enter data manually. So when you click on enter data manually, it throws up. It's a bit like a it's a bit like a spreadsheet. Um, so we're going to clear table, and we're going to go back into our other file that we generated our slogans in, and we're going to and we're going to select the seven of them. I'm going to right click. We're going to copy. And then in here, we're going to paste them. So now we have our seven slogan slogans um, in our kind of um, grid. But don't forget, you have to put in what you're going to call them. So we are going to call them offer. You can call them, you know, whatever slogans, whatever you like. So once you have them all in, we're also going to add an image to go with each slogan so you can do these manually you can change them manually manually excuse me um but it's better to do them here obviously because then they're all done and all you have to do is kind of adjust them to make make them look okay so when we click add image um another column appears and then you basically just click on the plus and if you have if you have them all in a folder or if you have them on your computer, you just need to upload them to Canva. So um, I'm just going to quickly do this. And once you have them all in, you just go down and you click done. And then you can see that there's two fields available. So um, the first one is a text field and the second one is a an image. So. So when you right click on the sports, you go down to connect data and you click on the offer. So then it knows that every time um, it wants to put in each slogan into this box. And then the only thing I would say with the image. So when you click on the image and you go, OK, well, I want that one to be the same. I want to use the image, but it doesn't show. Um, it doesn't show. The connect data so that's um that's a problem so <laughs> what you have to do is actually put it into a frame so put the image that you want to use into a frame and then it will work for you so click on frame click on frame and then we're just going to grab her and we're going to put her in there and then i'm just going to and then when you right click on her, the connect data appears. So it, it won't appear if she's not in a frame. Um, sometimes that's it's, it's not terribly clear and, and you spend hours trying to find out why, why would this not connect? So this is why it, it has to be in a frame in order for it to connect. So when you click on connect data, it knows that it's an image file that you're you're trying to connect. So you click on image, and then when you click continue on your bulk create it brings up all of these and then generate seven designs so then when it has generated the seven designs you can see them here at the bottom if you can't see them it's because your little arrow is pointing the wrong way so you just need to click on that and they all appear but sometimes the the image you know it, it doesn't suit the doesn't suit the slogan or um you want to make it make the text to kind of fit better around it or whatever but you can you can move you can resize them um and on each one and, and again this image is it's kind of cropped off so it's gonna resize it and then obviously, if any of them have a background in them and you don't, you know, you just want the isolated picture, you just click on it, click on edit photo and click on background remover. And now it's um, it's it looks kind of better. Well, it kind of doesn't look better, but I'm going to show <laughs> show you how to fix that in a second. So we just move through each of them and 
Um, again, we need to edit photo, background remover. So that one looks pretty good. Um, I'm just going to remove some of these words. That one's a bit long. So don't miss on out on our flash sale. Time, limited time only. You just wanted to, you wanted to have a bit of air around it. You want them to see what you're actually trying to say. So, um, yeah, so this one, for example, is, again, we need to remove the background. I mean, you can do this before you upload any of your images. And so they're already ready to go and just and just save them into a into a folder where the background is already removed. So now we have a different logo and a slogan and a different image in each of our seven designs, but they still kind of all look kind of samey. So how we change that is we go into design and we click on styles and within styles you can either add brand colors or you can go down to color palettes, click on see all and you can pick a selection of colors that suit your products basically. So um, kind of like this one. So when you click on it, it'll change the colors to match um, to match the, the palette that you have created. So um, when you click on each of them, you can you can generate a different color combination. So when we click on this one and we go again and we shuffle it. So if you click, the more times you click it, the more times it changes. So there's a pink one and purple, that's pretty good. And pink, yeah, we haven't got one of them yet. And it's kind of like pale purple and that's a kind of darker purple. So then when you when you go to grid view, you can see them all together and all your different images and you can see you know like do they do they work or does some of them need to be adjusted so that one might need to be adjusted because you can't really see the image or and um, there's too much too many words in it and um, but the rest of them look look okay And as I say, you don't necessarily you need to um, bulk generate the images. You can, if you don't like one of them, you can literally just go and change it, either upload a new file or go and search in your elements for different, um, like yoga. So we don't like those yoga socks and we want different yoga socks. Click on photos and you get all these other um, different, different sock pictures. So, um, you might want to, you know, change them into this one, for example. But as I say, you you know, you don't need to um you don't need to have that in a frame. It's only when when you're generating the bulk creation that you need to have it in a frame. So in that short amount of time, we have generated seven different posts, all with um a different message, a different picture, a different look about them, but they all kind of look similar. So that's pretty good. So now we're going to schedule them. So how do we do that? So Canva have an amazing schedule um, section in their app. So you go up to share and we go down to either schedule or share on social. So when we click on schedule, this is also only part of um, the pro version. So you can pick a day. So say we're going to go tomorrow and you click on next. And then you can say, we're only going to pick the first page because we only want one a day to go or one a week and um, one a day. Um, and then in here, we select the channel. So you can post to your Instagram account, but it has to be a business Instagram account. And that business Instagram account also has to have Facebook connected to it. Um, so that's um, it. It's relatively straightforward, but you have to do it through your actual Instagram or through your Facebook. I found it easier to do in Facebook 
and then at, when you go into your Facebook account, your business account at the top, just under your profile picture, it says um, also link to Instagram. So um, it's it's done easier, I think, through Facebook. So once you have done that, um, it will then they will then appear here. You can um, link them within within Canva. So once you um, once you have them connected, you you select which one you you want. And we are going to go with page one and then you can write a caption. So this is like your description underneath. So we are going to say flash sale on today and then the name of your store. And then um, we can schedule and you hit schedule and it prepares your design. And then tomorrow that will appear in your Instagram account. Um, and then when you click on content planner, it'll show you. It will show you then um, the one that it it is going to show tomorrow. And then from here we can change the date and time to like the next day done. And then you just you keep going page three changed um, to the next day <laughs> and so on and so on. So and then you just click done. And it will it will schedule it for you. So it's an amazing time saver um, aspect of Canva. I think it's brilliant. So I'm just going to show you one last amazing thing that um, Canva have <laughs> if you're doing bulk creation. So we have our seven designs and at the top it says resize and magic switch. Now this to me is just, you know, so much time saving um, is involved in this. So when you click on it and you go down to social media, it has all of these different, you know, it has Instagram, um, which we've done already. It has TikTok, Facebook, um, all the different types sizes in Facebook. It has um, YouTube thumbnail, LinkedIn, Twitter. Amazing. So basically all you have to do is pick one. So say we're going to go, um, we are going to go Facebook landscape, I think. So we click on continue. And it says um, copy and resize. So we don't want to we don't want to alter this one. We want to we want to generate a new design. So when you click on copy and resize and click on open Facebook. It has then resized it perfectly into um, into Facebook. So then you can go and um, you know, you just need to make sure that everything is OK. So um, that one might just be it's possibly. No, no, it's just the edge of the picture. Sorry, I thought I had chopped it off. But you just need to make sure that they're OK. And then you can go and share. And we're going to schedule again. But this time we're going to do on Facebook. So it's exactly the same way. We're going to go um, tomorrow. Click on next. And this time we're going to go Facebook. And we're going to have just going to do page one, click on done and again, write something about it and then schedule it. And, and just like that, you have instantly done your Instagram and your Facebook and you do any other um, social media exactly the same way. It's absolutely fantastic. It means that you can you can schedule like a whole bulk. You could do up to, you know, a couple of weeks, you could do up to. I don't know <laughs> how long is your calendar like it's it's incredible um, that you can just within the space of maybe 10 or 15 minutes, you can generate a whole design and um, have have them all scheduled, ready to go. And then you can go off and and live your life and <laughs> do other things that you find you find interesting, like go on holidays or, you know, and know that it is all working in the background. It's it's absolutely fantastic. So the only other thing tip that I will give you is the best times to post and schedule your, your posts. So there is certain times of the day and the evening and days of the week that work better. The best time they reckon to post Instagram, say for example, is between seven and eight in the morning, seven and eight a.m between Monday and Thursday because people get up and the first thing they do is they check their social media and um, and then head off to work or on the on the commute to work if they're you know 
public transporting or um, they can they can check out your post. And then on a Friday and Saturday, it's between four and 7 p.m. So people kind of start to <laughs> shut down, obviously, on a Friday at four o'clock and start looking at their at their Instagram again and their social media. And then on a Sunday is 7 p.m. Um, is the best time to schedule your post to go out. Saturday and Sundays are not probably the best times because people are busy doing other stuff and um, not that they don't look at their social media, but um, certainly weekdays are are proven to be the best times to post. They get the most interaction and um, that that magic, magic time between seven and eight in the morning. So maybe bear that in mind when you're scheduling them. So thanks for watching. I hope you have learned something new today. If you have, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe.